All right, everybody, what's going on today? This is just a quick video I want to make because uh, a lot of people are always asking me the question about eating and, you know, how many times am I eating and, you know, things of that, things of that sort and bodybuilding in general. For all of, for all of you out there that think <laughs> bodybuilding and doing this, this, this type of lifestyle is, it's easy. It's not. I can tell you this. It's very problematic for me. It, it's it's problems 24-7. People look at me and think that I'm in real good shape. In all actuality, I'm in real shitty shape. I'm not in good shape. And what I mean by that is my cardiovascular uh, system is very weak right now. I don't, I don't do any cardio. I'm about to start doing cardio probably within the next two or three weeks. My range of motion really sucks. My range of motion, I can't even reach behind my neck and um, wipe my wipe my back or wash my back when I'm taking a shower. Um, getting out of bed is extremely difficult for me. I'm having to um, <laughs> I'm having to roll over before I can basically hoist uh, maneuver myself out of the bed. Um, carpal tunnel. I'm developing carpal tunnel in my my hand is swelled up my wrist and hand and I notice that it's getting a little worse when I try and grab the bar for instance if I'm doing 315 on the bench press or, or, or grabbing some dumbbells over 100 pounds after I get into so many sets my hand will slowly start to open up so this is becoming another problem for me um, not to mention the amount of food that I'm eating every day and um, I'm eating a lot of food y'all when I started when I started out, started back, I was 200 and when I'm not working out, I'm eating maybe twice a day. And my my body weight is 205 pounds. 200 to 205 pounds. When I'm not working out, not eating. When I go back to working out, training real hard and heavy and really put my mind and everything off into it, my appetite slowly starts to pick back up. And I start eating way more, taking in way more calories. Like now, for instance, I'm probably taking in anywhere in between five to 6,000 calories a day. And that's just food, not to mention the protein shakes that I'm taking along with that. Um, so, if I had to guess on how much money that I was spending every month eating food, food alone, including fast food restaurants, because I eat out a lot, I'll probably say $1,000 a month. <clears throat> that's just what I'm spending on food roughly um, but yeah so this isn't an easy lifestyle this isn't for everybody because you have to turn eating into a job basically what you have to do oh, hold on I gotta back this thing up I found a parking space I'm about to work out over here at LA Fitness uh, One second, y'all. Work with me. I gotta put this thing down. Oh, all right. Sorry about that. But yeah, back to what I was saying. Um, this isn't a this isn't an easy lifestyle. So I can only imagine. A uh, pro bodybuilder, a pro bodybuilder who has a job and a family, because that's probably even more extremely difficult um, for a pro bodybuilder. And also keep in mind, bodybuilders they don't make any money. Only the only guys that you see in making a whole bunch of money is the guys that are fortunate enough to develop a relationship with a uh, huge supplement manufacturing company, clothing company, etc. Uh, other than that, those guys work nine to fives. Those guys are not rich. <laughs> those guys are actually struggling. A lot of those guys you never see on YouTube and hear about. They won't show you the inside of their homes. They won't show you what they're driving because a lot of those guys are living paycheck to paycheck. Um, with that being said, um, just keep in mind the next time you want to criticize somebody that's bodybuilding and always playing um, the steroid card and things of that nature, I don't give a damn 
how much steroids you take. If you don't have the discipline and the work ethic to put behind that, you can take all that you want to take. And guess what? You're going to look like shit. Nothing's going to happen. Mentally, you have to have a, um, mentally, you have to, you have to have the total package around being able to train extremely hard, being able to train smart, being able to eat when you don't want to eat. Um, it's, it's, it's all about, uh, being able to put all of that together. Not to mention you have to have some pretty decent genetics. Cause I know guys that take a lot of shit. And when I mean a lot of shit, I mean a lot of shit and they still look like shit. So for all of you guys out there that think that, uh, just by jabbing a needle in your ass, you guys going to get extremely huge and extremely big. It don't work like that. Cause I'll tell you what, I spent almost a decade of my life in prison and I know guys right now that's in the joint that can get out here and give 90% of these guys that's on gear pure fucking hell. Yep, pure hell. So, with that being said, next time you want to criticize somebody um, in general, just keep in mind that this is, <laughs> this is an extremely costly and hard and difficult sport. With that being said... Uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out of here. I'm about to go in here and LA Fitness, get on these hamstrings, and then I'm going to do some biceps and triceps. Uh, appreciate you guys supporting me, uh, supporting the brand. Subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube page if you already haven't. Check out the product line, abssupplementline.com, rep, rep crusher. There it is right there. Got my body weight up to 240 pounds now, so... I'm going to try and stack on another 15, and i give you guys another update in about a month or so, but I'll be shooting some, um, I'll be uploading some training videos here. I have been neglecting my training videos. I've been neglecting my videos in general, but appreciate you guys for supporting me. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out of here.